Hope you are good with yesterday the diagram team. Mark to diagram. So this is what not this one team. We did some POCs on yesterday recent. Market to is this one. Mm. We did some PO system. Yeah. So now we will see this one team. We will see this one. So how to mark and all. We'll see practically this one team. Now let's see how to use this market and all. Once we are good with this practical team, then we could plan other stuff team. Then we could plan other team. Okay team. Let us see. Now. We'll see practicals. I'm creating a two projects team here. I'm creating two projects. File new Maven project. Create simple project. Arm dot Stenotech project A. Project A. This is Project A. Click on Next. Finish. Now, how the here better we could add. JDK 8 compiler plugins, it would be good. Go to there. J unit. Maven dependency I should add. That's fine. Good team. Now, what is the class here? What is the class here? Simple class team. I am not writing complex. Once you are good with this basics, then we could we will start how to implement in the project. Now, here com dot synotech Tech a class team Tech dot project a a class now public a response m1 a request a request A request no I'm creating here model classes new class com dot stenotech model a request a response Request a response. <laughs> Let us see the how to use it is a simple one team. I am not okay. I don't want to talk too much now. I am creating same project. Copy, paste. Project B. Project 
go to palm.xml project b this is project b now we'll see the here i'm doing here b class b request b response here it is model b request public class b request here it is called b response here it is a b Okay, team. Now we are good. Now, actual what is the story here? Now, please apply. Please concentrate. My A is depending on B. So, what I should do? I need to add B dependency. Run as MV in install. Before that, I should create some classes like private string order ID. Wait string name. Okay. Alright, sir. RTA. Okay. Generate two strings. E response. Wait string status. Wait string status and private string delivered or private description. Alt S R R T A source generate to string. No done. So now what happened here? Here simple system dot out dot print ln entered into B entered into B entered into B class entered into B B response B response is equal to new B response. B response dot set status B response dot set to okay, description good done okay now run as and we install Copy this group ID, artifact ID, and version. So if you go here, I am adding a dependency. What type of dependency I am adding? Dependency. Dependency. Now you should add a group ID, artifact ID, and version. Okay. Now add it. Now let us see. So I have a class. My a is okay depending on b. Public a b b private b b b b no. This dot b is equal to b. This dot b is equal to b. Now please. Now see it. Now done. 
Now, step one, get the pay request from client. Step two, prepare the request for B. The help of A request. B request to B request is equal to new B request. B request dot set order ID. We request dot set order name set number three all B and get the B response. Go to call B B dot M one of B B request. What it returns B response. What it returns B response. Step number four. Prepare A response. With the help of B response. A response, A response is equal to new A response. A response dot here, here is wrong. Here, whatever B request to properties are there. Same we can add into a request. Whatever B response properties are there, same we can add into a response. Now let us see. A response dot here also a request to dot get order ID a request to dot get name a response dot so B response dot get a description a response dot get status done and everything is done here now everything here is done now Hope this is done team. Hope this is done. Okay, now a response, a request. Okay, hope this is done. Now what happened? Let's see. Now what happened team? Okay, let's see team now. Hope you are good. Okay, till now. Till now we are good. Okay, now what happened? Let's see. No, okay, let's see team. So I want to test my A class. A class is working fine properly or not. My A is okay depending on B. My A is okay depending on B. No. So first without B, I will test. No, okay, without mark it, I will write okay, unit testing. How to write? Go ahead. Here. New. J unit took okay, test case. Set up under tear down. Next, M1. 
test only m1 finish okay team now let us see how to do it as long as it is a simple test case team no need this setup and tear down everything i can write it here here only a a is equal to new a as long as a is depending on b b b is equal to new b b b is equal to new b pass your b is equal to here pass your b is equal to here pass your b is equal to here done okay now a dot m1 a request new a request a request to dot set order id a request to dot set order name so whenever you are sending a request a a request what it of response a response it returns a response it returns set not null a response set not null a response okay, now i set equals a response dot get status what this is coming from where b what is the status here delivered now see if i run the this j unit now here what happened whenever i run this flow will go where here if flow will go here now what happened in th this whole code will execute 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 here now here what happened since it is j you need it will go for your back end also this with your request only this code also will be executed what it give a response b response b response will <coughs> give to whom a with b b response your a a response object also will be prepared finally my j unit what happened here got the a response run as j unit see entered into b it is going to your backend system all your unit test case got a success now what i will do in b class i will do In B class, I will do enter into B only int A is equal to 10 by 0. You will get what? Arithmetic exception. You will get arithmetic exception. Whenever you will get arithmetic exception, B will not send any okay response. If B will give any okay arithmetic exception, A also will get a okay response. A also will get error. A, this code will not execute. So, you will get also an exception. Let's see. This okay, test case will be failure because your A response will not get. And since A response will not get, A response object will be null. Since A response will not happen, you can't get this value also. Let us see. Run as MV install. Run as okay, we can okay, install. Now go to here. Maven update project here. Maven update project here. Let us see. It. Now I will run. Run as it 
if you want you can run from here you will get more clarity alt enter so that we will move to in this location cd mvn clean install mvn installed unrecognized project a some problems were encountering and setting static somewhere okay remove that one we'll try from here maven run as unit see what error see see here what is the error arithmetic exception from the b your a also got a arithmetic exception entered into b only because of a is error you cannot test for whole code because of a is error you cannot test for whole code so here okay without depending on a how to test your code is working fine properly or not without depending on a how to test your code is working fine properly or not we should go for marking frameworks got it team same code i will use mark it up even you will not give any print statement also it will not entered into your b itself without depending on b how to test our code is working fine properly or not so here we should go for mocking without depending on your back end or external systems how your code is working fine properly or not not this one we'll try to use uh, latest dependency maven dependency market of core let us see is it market of core internally is there any other dependency it is bringing okay no problem now we'll see how to use simple instead of creating new b we should create b mark b mark it dot mark of Markito dot mark of b dot class Markito dot mark of b dot class b dot class Okay now Markito dot when mark b dot m one of m one of m one of M1 of methods dot Matchable matches dot
मैचेस स्टार्ट आर्गुमेंट मैचर कौन सा आर्गुमेंट मैचर नाट आर्गुमेंट मैचर्स टीम वन सेकंड टीम नाट आर्गुमेंट मैचर्स dot when if it is old code it should be matches dot or anything team here argument matches let's see argument matches dot yeah any b request to dot class then return our own response who will prepare here developer only will prepare the response create build response B response B response new B response B response dot set status B response dot set a description good good team Entered into mock response. Entered into mock response. Now good. Till now we are good. Entered into mock response. Till now we are good. Entered into mock response team. Uh, yeah, C team here. Now here argument dot matchers dot any of b b request dot class. then return build response then return build response team so how it is happening how the build okay response would be there how the build of okay the response would be there now we'll see team practically now we'll see practically see team please try to understand my sincere okay request is uh, first you will understand this basic team you can play games in your project here is here is b team tomorrow a is your controller b is your service or b is your dao a is your service doesn't matter class name is different and your request or response will be different if you understand this basics then i will implement the project also you will be able to know whenever i am trying to do this one here see please see now whenever this statement line number 27 will be executed now here what happened so whenever line number 29 will be executed your a class will be replace your a class will be replace your a class will be you know your in a class b will be replaced with mark b b will be replaced with mark b b will be replaced with mark b please try to understand team b will be replaced with mark b so your mark b will be traveling 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 to where here mark b will be traveling to here in line number 30 in line number 30 mark b dot m1 of c here mark b of whenever this line number is executed mark b of see here 
I am clearly informing that in my unit test cases. Mark it or dot when mark b dot m1 of argument matchers of any b request dot class. See how here here your original b will be replaced with mark b whenever argument dot matchers dot any b request dot class then return then return build response mark response then return mark response then return mark response who will prepare the mark response who will prepare the mark response developer is preparing your j unit feel like your a class feel like this response is coming from where real backend one so what real backend will do activities from line number 31 same activities will be doing by whom mark b response mark b okay response team what real object will do same will be doing by mark b okay response team mark b okay response team okay instead of a okay, real response here you got mark b response this mark b okay response will be prepared with the help of a okay response team go to here a test run as j unit test see entered into mark response it is have you seen please have you seen here like entered into b response team Easy to enter it into B team. Please okay, respond team. So that I came to know you are able to okay, understand team. Okay, am I audible? Everyone? Team, okay, am I audible? Yeah. Can you please okay, okay, explain? Line number 27. Good. Yeah, see. Now here. Now here what I am trying to say. Line number 25 indicates. Okay, instead of real object. Here. This indicates convert real object into mark object now wherever mark object wherever wherever mark object will perform operations then return my own response instead of real response convert real object into mark object wherever mark object will perform operations then return my own response of instead of real response instead of real response instead of real response instead of real response so now in a if you see instead of you are passing real object you are passing mark object yes your mark object is assigned to this b yes so on this mark object only you are calling here mark object to dot this line will be replaced with mark b dot m1 of b request now what this line number 27 is doing here mark it or dot when mark object to dot m1 mark object to dot m1 see my this code mark object to dot m1 of b request to dot class argument matches to dot any of b request to dot class then return then return my own response build response my own response who will prepare this response developer will prepare the response who will prepare this response okay developer will prepare this response sir did you understand so you never entering into actual real b never entering into real b 
never entered into real B. Always it will be entered into where? Mark B only. Always it will be entered into where? Mark B only. Always it will be entered into where? Mark B only. Sir, understood, sir. Okay, everyone. Please, are you clear, sir? Did you get it, sir? If you want, I will share the code immediately in your telegrams. Did you get it, sir, this one? Okay, everyone, team. Any doubts, please ask me, team. Kazim, Abhishek, Biswa, Purnima, Tejasvi, Suji, Tarunesh. Are we clear, everyone? Okay, everyone team. Yeah. Now. Let us see now. Okay, let us see team. So, suppose. 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 It is your, it is your A code. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, that's fine here. How to do the okay, unit testing with the help of mark it out team. Now, okay, without depending on B. How to test our code is working fine properly or not. Instead of B, I can using annotations. Right. Mark B. Mark B. At the rate mark B. Mark B. B. Mark B. See, here you will get error. Why? I will explain why also. I will explain. Here you will get an error. Why? Uh, who will initialize this annotations? You got null point exception in where line number 31. Yes. Here, this object is not okay, initialized. How this object is okay, initialized two way, two ways. Mark it to annotations. Dot init marks. Please okay, initialize this mark it to annotations. Run as. entered into mark response so how to initialize two ways one is this other one is at the rate run with the j unit mark runner mark it to j unit runner dot class Mark it to J unit runner dot class. Run with the J unit test. Entered into mark response. Done. Run with J unit test. Entered into mark response. Done team. Entered into mark response. Done. Done team. This is the way how to do testing. Okay, how to do without depending on your backend systems. How to test your code is working fine properly or not. How to test your code is working fine properly or not. See, same code. When B returns, you want to throw any user defined exceptions. Then return. Then return. Or then throw. Or then call real method. Then throw. See, see means some of the okay, use cases how it is happened. When B will be called, then throw user defined exception. And B is calling, then throw call real methods. Depends upon your requirement. You can return your own response. You can return your uh, real methods. You can throw the okay exceptions. Understood? No. This is what okay, how it happens. Understood team? No. This is what okay, how it happens. Please try to understand team. Please try to understand. Please try to understand team. That's it. Okay. Any questions team? Any questions you can ask? No.
see now this is what so i will explain different kind of like expectations when real object will come what you want to expect and mock object will execute when you should go for then return when you should go for then throw when you should go for then call i will explain all okay don't worry now so here so what are the drawbacks of this market oh what are the drawbacks of Markito? See, Markito, Markito does not perform, perform if the backend class will have below things. Markito does not perform if the backend will have below things. One is Markito does not perform if the backend will have below things so if the backend class okay if the backend class will have static class or static or final class or final methods if the backend class will have static methods okay if the backend class does not perform so marketer does not perform if the backend class will have below things one is if the backend class will have final classes or final methods if the backend class will have static methods if the backend class will create the new operator if the backend class will will have a constructor constructor if the backend class will have a private methods private methods so whenever these kind of scenarios are there if you want to show you practically if you want to show you practically now one is if the backend class will have final now if you see here you have b class here B class will have final. See now. If the B class will have final. Run as MVN installed. Something is issue. Okay. I need to restart this okay, clips. Okay. So you are I never marketer does not perform if the backend class will have the below things final class or final methods or or okay static methods because of these problems because of these drawbacks so still we cannot test we can't test all the scenarios because of these issues we can't test all the scenarios we can't test all the scenarios because of these okay drawbacks we cannot test all the scenarios that is that is coding coverage would be that is coding coverage would be very less that is coding coverage would be less as long as okay you will test complete code then more code coverage would be there because of these okay drawbacks we can't test all the scenarios that is code coverage would be less to overcome these problems to overcome these problems so power market as introduced into market so now what is this power market power market is equal to market plus extra futures power market is equal to market plus okay, extra futures that means okay extra futures means this power market can be marketo plus of extra futures power marketo 
can be using for final classes, final methods, static classes, static methods, new operators, constructor, etc. on etc. Power marketo is equal to marketo plus extra future state. So now we'll see what is mean by power marketo, how it is works. It supports all team, everything. If you are using power marketo in your projects, means it will support okay, everything team. Marketo plus some okay of okay, extra features. Industry will be asking, hey, have you used marketo or power marketo in your project? Depends upon the requirement. In my project, I used earlier marketo. So uh, during my uh, project requirement, a few of them scenarios, my my backend classes will have these kind of use cases. I did Google uh, after so much of r and I came to know that power market uh, market okay, does not support all these uh, features. I only like, realized that then I shifted to power market. Oh. Understood? No. So the main goal of the main goal of power market is without depending on backend systems or external systems developers developers can test can test code is working fine properly or not Power marketo internally uses custom class loaders to power marketo internally will use custom class loaders to mark to mark all the scenarios to mark all the scenarios like final static etc and so on so using using power marketo okay using power marketo we can we can we can we can we can achieve we can achieve code coverage code coverage would be code coverage percentage would be 90 percentile also 90 percentile also understood sir now this is what what are the drawbacks with marketo why we should go for power marketo these are the reasons tomorrow i will show you practically using power marketo how to mark final how to mark static how to mark new operator, how to mark constructor, how to mark private methods. These five scenarios I will show you practically tomorrow so that our marketo, power marketo theory and with okay, examples done. Then we will see how to implement in the project. Thank you team. Thank you all.